How's it going everyone? JKX3X here, back on Forza Horizon 3 today. Now just over a week ago I made a video on how you can make millions using the Horizon Edition cars that are on the auction house. And uh, that's a very good method, um, you can probably find that on my channel if you scroll down my uploads, but it's a very good method, but the only problem is it's not guaranteed to work, and if it doesn't work you can get your money back straight away which is the good thing. It's not instant, you know, the profit isn't instant. You don't make 500,000 profit in an hour. You have to kind of keep hold of the cars for weeks, even months before, you know, you make profit or whatever. This may not make much sense to you if you haven't seen the video, but I have a little method for you now, today, which can make you, you know, not massive amounts of money, but money um, in an hour, two hours maybe. And if you have enough money to do this well with, you can probably make more than you would doing the Goliath race. The only reason you really have to wait an hour is because you have to list the car again to sell it, which um, at a minimum you need to wait an hour. Pretty much there are several cars on Forza, um, there's quite a lot of cars to be honest, that um, get listed on the auction house for the default buyout price and this is people that have the car in their garage and they just want to just want to flog it. They just want to put it on the auction house and get it sold straight away. And they don't even know the actual value of the car and what it goes for. Now there are several cars and I'll go through the examples now and then we'll go on the auction house and see if we can find any examples which I can make money on for you on camera. One of them is the Pagani. This is a good hypercar and what happens with this is people buy it and then they just put it on the auction house for the stock buyout price which is a about 900, 800,000 credits. And they usually sell for just over a million, maybe 1 million, 200,000. I'll get to how the method works when I go through the car. So we've got the Pagani Huayra this works with. The McLaren P1 works quite well as well. The Lamborghini Centenario, that also works very well. That's probably one of the best out of all of them, but the hardest to, uh, you know, get it to low price. Didn't mean to click on that. And the one which works best for me is actually the Ferrari La Ferrari. I'm not sure why it works best for me, it just does. It's, uh, it's made me quite a lot of millions of profit. If you're thinking this isn't a very good method, then whatever, I understand, but I can assure you that I probably spent about 15 minutes going constantly through these cars, trying to get them for a low price, and then an hour later, I think I made like half a million profit or something. So in, essentially in 15 minutes, I made half a million credit. Granted, I did have to wait an extra hour because of the auction listing time, but essentially I only did 15 minutes of work to be able to make half a million profit. But anyway, let's get into the auction house search and I'll show you how this works. So what you want to do is you want to search for any of the cars I told you about. For example, I'm going to do the Pagani Huayra. You're going to want to search for it. And now at the moment, this isn't very good because as you can see, the um, one that's about to sell is still 16 minutes away. So we can't really show you. So we can't really tell how much they're actually going for. But I'm going to guess they're probably going for about 1.1, maybe 1.2 million. And what you're going to be wanting to do is you're going to want you to scroll down to where it says about 52 minutes, 56 minutes, you know, just under the hour to where the cars have just been listed. And you're going to want to find ones that people have put on there for a very low buyout price. And um, if you can see here, pretty much all of them are 1.4, 1.5 million buyout. But then this one here is 1.1 million buyout. Now, if he just had a little bit less knowledge about how much it was going for, he probably wouldn't have even put it to 1.1 million. That, believe it or not, there are people who would put this Huayra up for whatever the default price is, I think 900,000 buyout. He is the only one on the list that even has a buyout that's under 1.4 million. You see, it just stands out. He's one of the people that you want to be looking out for. Now, instead of searching for the Huayra over and over and over again for 15 minutes on end, that's why I like to have multiple cars to choose from. So as there are no Huayras to purchase at the moment, I'm going to move on to the McLaren P1. Now the McLaren P1s are selling for at least a million, maybe 1.1, 1.2 million. So it's a lot easier to make. So it's a lot easier to make guaranteed profit on this. Lowest buyout price is about 800,000 credits. Believe it or not, if you're lucky and you search at the right time, there are McLarens that get listed for 800,000 buyouts. Now there weren't any McLarens there either so we're going to move on to the ferrari la ferrari this is what works best for me as you can see here the ferrari la ferrari is going for at least 1.1 million and the default buyout price is actually 1.6 to 1.7 million so we're going to scroll down here and have a look for any that have been listed for a low price 
All right, there's none on there at the moment, but that's understandable. You're not gonna find one every time you search because then it'd just be too easy to make money. But it's only taken me a minute, maybe two minutes to scroll through each one if I wasn't talking over it, obviously. If I wasn't talking over it, obviously. This will pretty much work with any car apart from Horizon Edition cars. Here we go. This is a prime example right here. We have a Pagani Huayra that's been listed for 800,000 credits buyout. And if I buy it out right now, I'll be, I'll be surprised if I get it. Now oh, there we go, we did. That's a very prime example right there. That's probably the third time I searched for this car and I've managed to get it for 800,000 credits. And I can already see up above here, this guy's bidding nearly 900,000 for it. So that was a brilliant example for you lot right here. I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. Well, this is a brilliant example for you lot. You can see on camera right now that I essentially made a few hundred thousand credits profit by just searching for this car three times. There was about 57 minutes left on this auction, meaning that someone about two minutes ago from this point right now listed this car for 800,000 credits. And luckily I was the first one. You are never gonna find a car on the auction house as cheap as this up in the 30, 20 minutes left because someone would have bought it out by, by then, like me. Which is why you wanna scroll down to where it says about 50 minutes left, so we're one hour left and then go even further to two hours, six hours, and 12 hours, because you, you're only gonna be able to find these cars that have just been listed within minutes of you searching. So now I've looked for the Pagani Huayra, we're gonna move on to the McLaren P1, see if we find any now. For the McLaren P1, as they are going for more than the Huayra, if, the, if you find a McLaren P1 for even a million buyouts, then definitely buy it. Here we go, McLaren P1 for one million buyout right here. I'm gonna buy it right now because it's, I'm going to try and buy it out. If I can be the first one, that will be nice. No, oh, wow, yet again. Um, you may not always be this lucky. You may come to buy it and it may say a uh, bid failed or it'll say something like that. And that means that someone's actually managed to do it before you. But McLaren P1 for a million credits right there. And as you can see up here, they're going for 1.3, 1.1 million. So that's even more profit that I've made straight away. So uh, I've managed to get a Pagani Huayra for 800,000 credits and a McLaren P1 for a million credits. And so that's cost me 1.8 million credits and I can probably sell them both combined for about 2.1, maybe 2.2 million. So I haven't made a massive amount of profit, but I've made profit, full stop. That's the important thing. I've made profit. It's taken me, what, 10 minutes to do that, and I can now leave my Xbox for an hour, get them listed, and then in an hour's time, come back to a few hundred thousand credits profit. But yeah, go try out this method, guys. It works with any car, really, but it works best with what I've listed you today. And you've seen proof that there are people out there that list it for just whatever it, they just click A, they don't even bother to change it or they forget to change it at least. Take advantage of those people and try to be the first people to buy it out. But anyway, go give this method a try guys. Leave a comment down below if you've managed to get this to work. I'll be quite curious how it's working out for you guys. It certainly works well for me as you've seen today. But yeah, leave a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe for more balls of content, glitches, methods and stuffs. And I will see you all later.